An interesting idea for an air level project was casting a golf club uh, head or designing a golf club head and here we are trying to cast it. What we're doing is we shape the golf club out of uh, polystyrene and we recreated runners and pouring points and here we are pouring some molten metal, some molten aluminium into the mould. We uh, got the aluminium too hot so we let it cool down to about six, uh, 640 degrees. Then we noticed that it wasn't actually pouring through the mould, through the golf club head and coming up through the riser. So what we're doing is we're pouring some more aluminium in at the riser end. I created quite a well there, quite a reservoir so it could find its way in and act as a, um, a reservoir so it could be drawn in from the uh, to the casting. But at this stage we weren't quite sure whether it had worked. It's always a bit of a gamble to do it this way. Um, but however, we thought we might have done it, but we, you, you're never quite sure. The reason why it hadn't gone through the complete mould was there must have been a, um, a little break uh, from the polystyrene pouring point into the actual golf club head. We've got a fume extractor placed right over the mould here. That's simply to get rid of all the fumes. The fumes from polystyrene are not a good idea to have about really. I don't like using this particular method, but here we are trying it out. So, just explaining here what's happening. And um, anyway, in a sec, we'll, we'll take it across to the sand bay and try and knock it out and see what happens. So, this is uh, about 40 minutes later. It'll still be very hot. Uh, we've managed to get it across here, give it a good shake, a really good shake, and it starts to break up and it falls out. We're still not quite sure, but it's starting to look good. Let's have a look. Just knock some of this sand away. And you can see some of the sand through all the steam. You can just imagine how hot this thing is still. I'm still knocking the sand off. Some of the sand has gone pretty black where the temperature of the um, metal was so hot it's actually burnt the sand a bit so maybe we should have got a little bit cooler on the aluminium uh, before we poured it in but nevertheless you don't want it too cool otherwise it won't flow through it looks like we've got away with it you can see we poured the metal in here it ran along this runner here and I think that was the break between where that runner goes into the golf club head I think we had a little problem there you can see here little bits of sand still clinging to the mould We'll, we'll get that finished later when we tidy it all up. We'll saw, we'll saw the sprues off. That's these things, that's the riser there. We'll saw these sprues off and um, we'll tidy the thing up to make it look good. So you can just see the grooves there from the golf head. So we'll saw that off at the back, we'll smooth it round, we'll do the same with the top and then we'll consider fitting the shaft. <laughs> 